Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. So I'm here in my RPM Challenge album world and oh, ah, 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 here we go. Uh, so it's all done. I, I created, I recorded the album. I did all the mixing and everything. It's all done. So I wanted to show kind of a basic rundown of everything that's here and uh, the settings that I kind of came up with and also show you some of the uh, the back end of what I did. And uh, and so we'll we'll show you that. So here's so here's the here's the machine. Um, <clears throat> so I've got switches here that control redstone lines that go out to these randomizers out here. And this randomizer went on. Uh, it's a little comparator here in subtraction mode. And I have a bunch of of repeaters here on full delay to really lengthen this pulse so it turns on and then it turns off and then it turns on and then it turns off and so on and then this is a pair of droppers here with relatively few things in them most of them stack to 64 one the wooden sword stacks to one so when it gets and when this each time the circuit goes it transfers one thing randomly out of here into here and if it happens to be the one sword, then this comparator turns on full enough to power up this repeater, and it goes and generates, uh, turns this clock, which goes tick, 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 and does the similar thing here. So this, this one's on, actually, and you can see it's stuck on. It will turn off next time I turn it on, of course. Uh, but same situation, two droppers facing each other. And <clears throat> when this block powers, this dropper uh, pushes one thing randomly into here. And then after a moment, the this hopper gets powered by this repeater and it chooses one thing to go back to the other to the other side. And it, so if the sword stays up here then, or when the sword goes up here, same situation, repeater, then power or yeah comparator powers the redstone enough to power this block which triggers the note block and note blocks they they have different uh, sounds they can make based on uh, the material they're sitting on so these the 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 dirt here these are the ones I call my bells let me show you what that looks like so the bells basically started out life um, well, they look like this. This is the actual sound. And so Minecraft takes that and it goes and, and, and depending on how you have the note blocks that it can play out one of two octaves worth of sounds. And it has some are higher pitched and some are lower pitched than the original this one here but this is this is what it is and this is based on um, if I pull up here go statistics we can update and this is about 324 Hertz frequency um, so this is based on a series of, of prime numbers that start with 313 and use that as its fundamental frequency and then um, uses other prime numbers as its harmonics so they're not normal this is not a normal sound even a bell uh, and i call it a bell because when a bunch of them are playing at once to me it sounds like bells but a bell doesn't have these kinds of crazy harmonics and certainly a musical instrument doesn't so this shouldn't sound like a note that you're familiar with it should sound a little bit off and that was kind of the intention so so when it plays, you know, I have I have 16 of these here to play and they potentially could all be playing at once. Um, and and so together and playing with slightly different shifted frequencies, it sounds I think it sounds super cool. Um, but it, it definitely at times, depending on what which notes there are, it, it kind of sounds off and discordant, which was kind of the point over on this side. We have 
we have two different notes. The the wood blocks here, these are my bass thumps. I call them I call it thump. And it sounds like this. Which might be a little difficult to hear, but um let me turn it up a bit and play it again. Um it's it's pretty low frequency. And I find that without uh yeah. Um so it started out with 115 uh, 115 hertz, uh, 113. So I started with this sound. Um, when you listen to the whole thing, um, so the the frequencies create this sort of periodic motion. This loops reasonably well, not perfectly, but when I I selected just this piece of it. and and sort of faded out the end and everything to make it sound a little bit more like a note you end up with this um so that's that's what's going on with these note blocks here uh and i've, I've got them there playing and they so occasionally they go thump thump and then the sand here is a is a sound that i call zap looks like this sounds like this and I've got two different, I've got uh, this here, I've got lower notes and, and that kind of that, the same note as what you played there. So for the, the zap sound, the note blocks on the sand, I started with a, uh, a, a thing I generated a fair amount of it, again, also very periodic and a little too sharp for its own good. So I took that, I ran it through a bunch of delays and reverb and EQ to get this sound. Which I think is very kind of spacey and uh, atmospheric sounding. So those are the basically the three notes. I have the, the bell, my little zap sound, and then the thump. So those are the three sounds that are that are used here. And so I set it up so I could turn them on and off. And I, I separated this half and this half over here, which didn't end up, I didn't end up really needing. Um, I could connect them back up if I wanted to. But so the process, this is kind of my keyboard, my kind of control panel. Um, and Minecraft is, is directional so if I'm facing this way all the stuff over here is in the right hand side and all the stuff over here is on the left hand side so that's kind of what I did in the performance I basically started out turning on this here to get all of the the bell sounds and let them play for a while like that And then after a while, I turned on these so that we would also get the uh, the the bass hit sound and the and the sort of spacey sound. And every time I turn it on, it's different. Now, the way Minecraft works, I can't look around. Well, it's not doing too bad, but I can't look around too much, otherwise it kind of messes up the sound. Like that. Wow, this is sticking on a long time. Come on. After a while of having them both turned on, I switched off these sounds and let just the bells go for a little while. And then I turned these back on and then turned them off. So there was kind of four little sub-segments, four little movements, if you will. Wow, this is just completely stuck on. I'm gonna turn these off now that they're done. Come on, you can finish up. I 
Okay, I'll do it by hand. So this is this is on because the swords. Oh, it's moving a lot of stuff out there. That's probably part of the problem. Okay, it's moving stuff out. There. I put in extras just because I wanted. Uh oh, I lost track of what was here. Oh, okay. I think that was it. Um, <clears throat> I put in extras in these hoppers because I wanted these sounds, the uh, the thump and the the bell sound, to be a little bit more rare. Oh, that's right. I, I had a pressure plate in there as well. Uh, but it didn't. It didn't exactly. Oh, I got that. It didn't entirely work out that way, but um, that's okay. So. What are we missing from there? Piece of redstone. So, um, so that was it. The it ended up being roughly a. No, uh, oh, I already got that. Oh, hang on a second. I'm distracted here. Granite. Yeah, perfect. Um, so it ended up running about forty-five, forty-six minutes long, and the final piece looks like this. And you can see from the waveform, there's a lot of silence. There's a lot of spots that are just like this, where nothing happens for quite some time. And then there are bits where it gets rather busy. And relative to other things, certainly relative to the way modern music gets mixed, this is kind of on the quiet side, but I meant it as an atmospheric ambient piece. So that's kind of expected. Um, the loudest it gets is right at the end here. So I have it kind of mixed as like in the same way that you might mix uh, a feature film um, so like here loudness meter so this this is a way of measuring um, loudness the way you and I hear it um, it's a subjective thing and just because one sound is you know the the waveform here when it peaks higher doesn't necessarily mean it sounds louder to you um, it gets kind of uh it gets kind of confusing because it's different frequencies your ear responds to different ways it, it's complicated and but this is a way of measuring so that it sounds uh so that you can actually measure kind of how it sound how loud it sounds and it's this integrated number here that's actually the important one so in the stretches when it's actually playing, it's it's mixed at kind of the loudness that I'd like. And you can see here this true peak. It actually, on the left channel right here, it actually went too high. It actually clipped. But uh, it doesn't sound bad to me, and I didn't want to apply any dynamic range compression to the piece. I wanted it to sort of be the way it is. And that means that really to hear it properly, you need to be in a relatively quiet place and have a decent amplifier or a good pair of headphones. But uh, it's not meant to be loud and in your face all the time. It's meant to be sounds that kind of appear in the background and go away. So that's the piece. Uh, one last thing that you might be interested in is the cover artwork. Okay, so this is getting squeezed a little bit. I apologize for that. But um, the, the title I chose is Eagle Rock McNeil Number 1. <laughs> and this is a telephone pole in Burbank, California that I drive past pretty much every day. And I am fascinated by these labels. I have no idea what they mean. And I took this picture and I was like, I'm going to use that for an album sometime. And so I think I decided this was it. So this is this is the album, the album cover. This is the album. Uh, it's going to be. I, I sent it into RPM Challenge today. It's actually uh, the February twenty third. So I actually finished. Uh, 
what's that five days early um mostly because i'm going to be busy this weekend and wasn't going to be able to work on it so i made sure i finished it early but uh, i will also have it on bandcamp so if you want to listen to the whole thing there or you want to download it you want to buy it it's set to be uh, pay what you want pricing and that includes zero so it can be free um and or you can just stream it there and i will put the link to that in the description but this is it this is my rpm challenge record for 2017. It's, I, I looked at i think this is my 10th year participating and the other albums are in uh on my band camp as well so if you're curious to see uh all the different things that i've done for it in the past uh the last three i've used minecraft but the albums sound completely different so they're i'm not using it in the same way and certainly this time is uh is different because i created my own resource pack to uh, to use with it so anyway that's that's it i hope you found it interesting thank you for watching this is theron and it's minecraft maker bye